In the last two years, we've only seen this happen three different times for the overall crypto market. And this is a big deal because while the rest of the market is getting a little bit uncertain, we're seeing the fear, crypto fear and greed index show extreme fear in the market. We've only seen this happen three separate times and every single time we have seen this happen, it's been followed by a big rally in the market. So let's talk about that. And also I wanna talk about one coin in particular that just had their IDO today. It's a coin that I personally invested $20,000 into. I'm very bullish on it. And I think you're really gonna like this one as well. It is encompassing all metaverse cryptos. So I think you'll enjoy that. But anyways, so right now, the overall crypto market is continuing to see a lot of fear. We're seeing the crypto fear and greed index currently sitting at 16, dropped down back into the extreme fear territory. Um, this means that, you know what? People are not really buying, people are selling, people are getting very worried as Bitcoin's price is below $50,000 per coin. And what we're seeing is that the entire market right now is down about 4%, getting closer and closer to touching that $2 trillion market cap, which should act as a support moving forward. But but the big concern right now that everyone is getting very worried about is right now with crypto, we're just seeing everything continue to fall. People are saying it's going to bounce back, but no one's showing any real data that, that indicates that. And right now what we're seeing is that one chart in particular I, I found very interesting. The chart shows us that over the last two years, we have seen three separate instances where the net flows of Bitcoin into and out of exchanges was um, 23.2 thousand coins in a single day coming out of exchanges, outflows. What this means is that back in September of 2020, in July of 2021, and now what we're seeing again in, no in December of 2021, what we're seeing is that each of these times, we, we have seen outflows of at least 23,000 Bitcoin coming out of exchanges. And basically what that means is that people have are making it more difficult for themselves to actually sell. Whenever you take crypto off of an exchange, you move it to cold storage, you move it to a hardware wallet, wherever you're moving it, you're essentially just making it harder for for you to sell whatever crypto that is. If you're talking Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're basically just making it harder to sell. And what this shows us is that people are bullish on crypto. The people who are owning crypto right now are taking it off of exchanges, basically making it harder for them to sell and putting it into more of a long-term storage sort of place. Because if you wanna be able to buy and sell crypto very quickly, you just keep it on exchanges. If you wanna just hold it, not worry about it, you move it off of exchanges. So seeing that that we had 23.2 thousand coins move off an exchange, off of exchanges yesterday on December 9th, 2021, is a sign that we are going to see a big rally in crypto very soon because we're seeing less and less coins available to buy and sell on exchanges. We're seeing the total supply of Ethereum, the total supply of Bitcoin continuing to drop. And this is just, in my opinion, and from historical data, shows us that people are betting on crypto long term. They're adding to their portfolios. And whenever we have seen this of more than 23.2 thousand coins coming off exchanges, it's always been followed by a big rally. Look at this, July 2021. That was right before we saw Bitcoin's price go from 28,000 all the way up to $60,000 per coin. You look in September 2020, exactly before we saw Bitcoin's price start to rally to those new all-time record highs. So if you got a bet on like probability, you're looking at the probability is Bitcoin, is crypto going to see another bull market? Are we gonna see prices rally? Well, based on this, it looks like we will because we have not seen this happen too many times and every time we have seen it happen, well, it has been followed by a massive rally. I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by TGDAO. TGDAO 3.0 is a new crowdfunding blockchain launchpad. Launchpads help bring companies public in the crypto space, but the one thing that is different about TGDAO 3.0 versus all the other launchpads out there is that they make no distinction for blockchain startups and real world project projects. It's essentially just an aggregator. They can accelerate and incubate projects from completely different fields, from agriculture to fintech to crypto. And one of the things that I really like about this project is that by owning and having TG DAO tokens in your account, 
Well, then you can use these to be allocated for the purchase of tokens or startups that are launching on the TG DAO 3.0 launchpad this is very exciting because everyone's always trying to get into all of these new projects early and with tg dow 3.0 it's no longer just blockchain uh, companies they're helping bring a lot of companies um, launch them they're helping incubate startups and this is a way that anyone can get involved so check it out using the link in the description let me know your thoughts on tg dow i think it's great that people can get involved in a number of these startups and crypto companies an interesting thing is right now they're doing a special promotion they're doing an airdrop for any tg dow token holders anyways back to the program second thing i want to talk about is a coin that i've been looking a lot at recently i bought twenty thousand dollars worth of this coin called Meta VPad. And what this is, is you guys all probably know of BSC pad um, and all the other launch pads out there. But the important thing about this is that they are targeting and focusing, keep hearing this beeping, but they are targeting and focusing specifically metaverse cryptocurrencies. Everyone's always talking about, you know, how can you get in on projects early? And the easiest way to do this is if you're like a big bank or you're um, like a VC, you can get into all these projects early, but most of us don't like don't have those opportunities. So what people typically do is they try and look for all these different launch pads, let's say like BSC pad, which is one that I'm always following. And on these launch pads, you always, you can get access to new projects that are coming out like before they launch. It's a way to get great exposure to them. But the one thing is, is yes, you wanna get into projects early, but what is the hottest section? hottest sector of crypto right now. Well, the hottest section in the entire crypto market right now, hottest sector is no doubt metaverse cryptocurrencies. Metaverse cryptos right now have been doing extremely well, no matter how you look at it. Even if you're just looking at prices over the last couple of weeks, when we've seen the whole market down, they still have done better than almost any other crypto over the last six months, especially since Mark, Cuban, uh, Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Meta came out and said that they were going to be looking more into the metaverse. They changed their name to Meta. We have seen so much more interest in this space. We're seeing Microsoft work a lot more on metaverse, uh, you know, different products. So this is a big deal. So the reason why I invested in this, in this company is because, well, first of all, you could see it on um, CoinGecko. There was just launched today. It had $50 million of 24 hour trading volume. The first day it was launched, $50 million of trading volume while we're seeing prices drop. The whole market is down and this coin, first day it launched, had $53 million in 24, uh, 24 hour volume, trading volume. That is huge. But so the reason, like I said, why I'm investing in this coin while it just launched today is because it is going to help bring metaverse cryptocurrencies like help launch them it's going to help um they're going to have an incubator program which is going to help to target help to market all of these new and upcoming projects and this is a great way that you can get a part of it by being a part of meta vpad this is why I'm a part of it. I, I'm a part of some of these other launch pads as well, like BSC pad. You invest in these tokens and by owning, let's say BSC pad, you get access, early access to projects on their launch pad. Trust swap, you get early access to projects launching on their um on their platform as well. All of these different launch pads, by buying these launch pad, buying their tokens, you get access, early access to any projects that they roll out in the future. So right now, that is why I'm looking at Meta VPad because they have a lot going for them. They're in the perfect space right now in terms of metaverse cryptos. That's what they're targeting. I didn't even mention this, but they already have 170,000 followers on Twitter with insane engagement for a company that just launched. They get hundreds of likes, if not thousands of likes and hundreds of retweets on every single post. This is absolutely mind blowing and why I I personally invested in it. But let me know your thoughts on this project. I think it has a lot of potential. Last thing I wanna talk about with this is that a lot of people were concerned the other day when I spoke about a, a play to earn NFT gaming crypto. They were like, yo, Michael, why are you talking about this? The tokenomics don't look great. Why are you talking about this? And it was a different project, but I wanna make sure we talk about tokenomics. So right now with tokenomics, what we're seeing is that it has a pretty um, dispersed arrangement 
an allocation for tokenomics, which makes it more attractive. You can see that the team only gets 15%, advisors 7%, liquidity 11%. So that adds up to just over 30%. And then what we're seeing is that in a lot of this was for public sales, 16%. 16% was for private sale. A lot is going to the ecosystem and staking. So in my opinion, when you look at this right now, it's not that any one person owns a significant portion of these tokens. And that's what you don't wanna see with new projects. So even though this is a brand new project, it's growing very rapidly. We saw an insane like amount of volume day one. The important part here is that Nothing looks concerning to me in terms of tokenomics. It looks pretty well dispersed, pretty well diversified, not into any one person has it, not any, you know, not like the team. Seems pretty well spaced out. But anyways, that's what's going on with Meta VPad. It's a coin that I personally invested in. I like it. Let me know your thoughts on it and hope you enjoyed today's video. See you guys in the next episode. See ya.